welcome. If you hear that licking, it's lucky licking my pants. He's a licker. He's always been a licker. Haven't you lucky? Wanna say hi to everybody? Wanna say hi? Okay, so on to some serious business here. <clears throat> Looks like I have a, I don't know what you want to call them, a stalker, a, a um, uh, you know, one of those idiots from Keen. And I'm going to provide a link. I'm going to provide a link to a specific story over at Stop Free Keen, but I suggest looking at Stop Free Keen's website. Because they have some great articles. Uh, articles. I don't know if it'd call them articles. I mean, I guess you'd call them. You could call them articles. Anyway, they do a great job at uh, at exposing the so-called free keeners. The people with free keen, they're not. They don't really believe in freedom. They want to sue people that disagree with them. They want to sue people that expose them. And because I'm one of the people that likes to expose them, I've got somebody going through and making nonsensical comments on my videos, including comments on videos, comments that have nothing to do with the videos, and downvoting my videos. Uh, but, you know, when you do this kind of thing, it says a lot about you. None of, it, none of it's good. None of it. I've said some things that were out of line. I admit that. But when it comes to telling people about what goes on, what my late wife and I have seen, what we've heard, I just tell you what they see or what they see, what they what they say and what they do, what the so-called free keeners say and do. And no, it's not good. You know, when, when you claim to believe in freedom, yet you want to sue people, you want to sue Stop Free King because they tell people what you do. That's really sad. That's really sad. Um, you know, there there's a, an article on the Stop Free King website about. Uh, free keeners wanting to block off the roads and make people pay to use the roads around the CAC. Um, there's uh, an article and video of, of uh, the so-called free keeners, the fascist. That's what they are. They're fascist. I mean, brown shirts, fascist, whatever you prefer. Um, uh, surveilling the neighbors. Well, if you believe in freedom, you're not going to be doing things like that. You know, I mean, I don't like you guys. I don't respect you guys. I respect you as human beings, but that's as far as it goes. Uh, you know, and flipping me off in Walmart and driving around the block 20 times and your old jalopy recording me every time you go by me. I'm um, like, uh, real mature guys, you know, why don't you, uh, you, you can't win on, on, on the arguments because if you, you say something that is pro-liberty, then you turn around and do something, do a lot of things maybe, that are in direct opposition to liberty, like suing people that disagree with you. Now, I don't have a, a link up to the list, but there's a list, there are several lists of what makes a cult. And one of those things is having a leader, and we know who their leader is. And another thing is having front groups, front groups. You have Free Keen, Cop Block, Recording the Police, uh, Peaceful Streets, uh, sidewalk chalking. All these people are the same people. They use different names, you know, different 
they name their they give their organizations different names, but they're the same people, essentially doing the same things. So having front groups is another sign of a cult. Having a leader, a very you know dynamic leader, is uh, I say dynamic. I mean he calms a lot of not a lot of people. There was a stop. I mean, because excuse me, because Free Keen really isn't made up of all that many people. It's actually a very, very small group. Stop Free Keen probably has a whole lot more members, if you can even call them members. Stop Free Keen doesn't seem to be a membership organization per se. I don't have a whole lot against Stop Free Keen. The, my only problem with them is. You know, when they call people f tards and things like that, I don't, I don't, I don't particularly care for that. Um, but I don't disagree with Stop Free King, except on I just wish they would be more amenable to uh, people with a more libertarian bent. Um, and because I dare to criticize the keen activist I get them going on to my you know well, actually somebody uh, hacked this this account the other day uh, so you know that's something else that so-called free keen does you guys don't believe in freedom please stop saying you do you don't believe in freedom you want control you just don't want those currently in control to have the control you would rather have control and you remind me more and more of, of, of uh, the Falangi and, and the Guardia Civil uh, back home in Spain and uh, you know been there done that you guys are a very dangerous group of people now do I believe you're a religious cult no absolutely not I do believe you're a political cult you know, you have your leader, you have your front groups. Um, I, I've seen interviews with people who, or read, read and seen interviews with people who were in Vietnam, uh, China during the Cultural Revolution, in, in Europe when the fascists were coming to power. And they, they would talk about how it, the stories are basically all the same, how they... They would talk to the true believers, and, and the, the, the free keeners are true believers. Okay? You know, no matter what you say, no matter how logical your arguments, they're going to find a way to attack your arguments, no matter how illogical that attack is. And the, these people who, who – one person, he was in China during the Cultural Revolution, and he said, look, these, these people would come up to me and – no matter how illogical what they were saying, no matter how, you know what I'm trying to say, uh, no matter how illogical the person was being, no matter how logical you responded, they still continued with the nonsense. And that's what these people in Keene are like. Okay, They are violent. They are a very violent group of people. Remember, we used to, me and my late wife used to be one of you. We've seen it. You don't want to admit it to the world, but it goes on. And again, go to the Stop Free Keen website because on the Stop Free Keen website, there there are all sorts of stories, you know, about what you guys do. And if you don't like me saying things, then don't do those things. Don't do the things I criticize you for. Don't do the things Stop Free King criticizes you for. Don't do the things other people criticize you for. You know, I used to like to watch the Riddler Report. I don't watch it anymore. I remember this was when I was still in Texas. And uh, let me say, I love New Hampshire. I, I am so glad I moved here. Um, this is the best place I've ever lived, except... Okinawa and Spain. Germany comes in a close second there. But um, 
No, what was I going to say? Um, you know, so, I mean, I, I love living here. And the, the Riddler Report, like I was saying, this is when I was still living in Texas, when I was still in San Antonio. Uh, there were This was early on with the uh, recording the police. I have no problems with recording police when they're on duty. Okay, I have no problems with that. I am, in many ways, libertarian, lowercase l. I mean, when the Libertarian Party puts out neocons as their candidates, and I'm not going to support them. But um, now, neoconservative is a socialist, let's remember that. But um, anyway, Dave Ridley ha said something. There, there was this, this family, they had horses, and somebody had reported to the SPCA or the Humane Society or whoever that the horses had worms. And the police went out, the, the animal welfare people went out. I don't know if they had worms or not. I don't know what was determined, if anything was determined. And some people who were staying over or who were over at the property recorded the police and wound up getting arrested. And they should not have been arrested for recording the police. But Dave Ridley said something very important, which he doesn't seem to believe in anymore, and that is, just because they're one of us doesn't mean they're right. I wonder what happened to that idea. You know, I, I don't see that idea. Maybe because Dave Ridley is he's not going to bite the hand that feeds him, i.e. the keen activist, you know, because it seems to, to me that they're the ones who pay him to record things now but I wish he would go back to the the whole idea just because they're one of us doesn't mean they're right you know, but, uh, you know if you want to you know and vote down my videos I can't stop you uh, and unlike you I'm not gonna try and stop you from spewing your nonsensical ideas if you don't believe in liberty, again, you know, are you going and, and trying to sue, stop free Kane and other people because they simply tell people what you're doing? You know, I'm like, my goodness. But anyway, you know, if you, if you would just leave me alone, I wouldn't make videos like this. And then you made that one nonsensical video. I've shared it many times. I laugh at it. You know, and, and again, you know, that video does show the thing that I was saying I was out of line about, okay, but you also chopped it up so much that it makes me sound, it makes it sound like I'm saying things I'm not. See, I don't do that with you guys. You do it to me, you do it to other people, but, you know, other people don't do it to you, not that I'm aware of anyway. So anyway, have a good day.